And welcome back. That January thaw just keeps on going. 31 degrees for the high today at Duluth International. Well beating the average high of what should be 19 degrees. Take a look at this, guys. This whole month of January, we've been above average. So this shows you just how much above average we were. So we started off January uh, on the 2nd, 11 degrees above average. Yesterday, we were 24 degrees above average. So the whole month said and done, or excuse me, the whole month so far, we were 13.8 degrees above average. Just goes to show you how warm we have been. But that's all about the change, actually. As you can see, temperatures are basically on a roller coaster ride right now. Temperatures are on their way down, say, about Tuesday. And then we rise up on Wednesday to the, close to 30 degrees once again. But then temperatures free fall once again into the lower 20s and then back into the teens. But right now in Duluth, we got 26 degrees, maybe with a little bit of rain, snow falling right now. Beginning to see it on radar, but it doesn't seem like it's all that much in a north-northwest wind blowing at 10 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere across the region, most of us are sitting in the lower 20s. But you can see out west, they're already beginning to dip down into the teens there. 19 in Big Fork, 18 in Baudette, 15 in Bemidji, 16 degrees in Walker. Then the rest of us are sitting in the low to mid-20s. 26 degrees on top of the hill right now, 28 in La Pointe, 26 National, 24 in Ironwood, and 25 degrees in water to meet. 30 degrees still down, still by the lake, 30 as well in Solon Springs. So warmer by the lake, that's for sure. Satellite radar is confirming what I was just talking about on the current conditions. Maybe a little bit of snow shower activity for the Twin Ports and then points west a little bit. I don't think it's really all that much falling. It's not going to accumulate on the ground that much at all because temperatures, they're just too warm. And here's what the rest of the night looks tonight. Maybe a few more lake effect snow showers for the UP as well as the South Shore. Then any snow showers that are left over here will slowly begin to diminish and we're really not going to accumulate all that much. The other theme of this forecast, clouds, clouds, and more clouds. Sunday 2 a.m., you can see clouds overhead. The good news is maybe as we head towards Sunday morning, we see some clearing. This is Sunday 9 a.m., so tomorrow at 9 a.m., maybe some clearing, some points north and south of the Twin Ports, but it really doesn't last all that long because look, take a look at this. By 1, 2 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies prevail once again. Then those clouds basically stick around for a good portion of the week as we head into Monday and then into Tuesday. Maybe some gradual clearing as we head towards Wednesday, but clouds just prevail for this seven-day forecast, that's for sure. And really no big systems to speak about either. Temperatures tonight fall back into the teens for most of us. 17 in Duluth, 19 in Silver Bay, 14 in Ely, 11 in Hibbing, 13 in International Falls, 22 in Ashland, 20 in Ireland, and 21 degrees in Mercer. A little bit warmer in the UP of Michigan as well as the South Shore with those clouds overhead for most of the night tonight. Forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures climb into the mid and upper 20s. 25 for us here in Duluth, 28 in Silver Bay, 26 degrees in Solon Springs. And here's how that seven day forecast looks. As you can see, it's kind of an uneventful seven day forecast. Maybe a little bit cooler, but that's only average. So, yeah. and then clouds. <laughs> Can't complain about clouds and temperatures above zero. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. for <laughs> winter in January here, keeping this warm stretch going sounds good to me. Mild January. I love it. All right. Thanks, Peter. Yep.